Hello once again uh, from here from New York United Nations headquarters. It's a very important day, especially for the children, as we have from many of the 17 goals of the uh, global goals regarding the children in a very difficult period for the entire world, but especially for some specific areas. And anyway, the children are more affected than any other categories. So, uh, Alicia, first of all, thank you for uh, accepting uh, giving us uh, the interview. And what do you think about what happened today, that everybody representing one of the 193 countries, entities from the United Nations voted for these goals? What does it mean for the children in the world? Well, um, I actually just got here a couple hours ago, so I'm not exactly sure what happened earlier this morning, but I think it's a great thing that we have all these leaders from all these countries and organizations coming together to really, you know, hammer out these goals and, you know, put their support behind it and put all their efforts behind it to really, really achieve this. Um, and I think in terms of the children, well, first of all, I think it's great for everyone, but I think in terms of the children, it's a great signal um, to everyone saying that, like, you know, look at all the leaders of all these countries and all these leaders of you know the organizations that we care about and if they're putting their support behind this then this is something that we need to put our support behind as well and so I think it's been a great thing and it's gonna be a great push um, you know for children everywhere and for people everywhere as well and how do you think it's gonna work I mean there are children in maybe countries affected by war by poverty, by diseases, uh, maybe they don't have mobile phones, internet connection and so on. How will be consciousness of their children alerted? Because in New York it's very easy to talk about it, Facebook and so on. In some many other countries it, would, it, would be, it wouldn't be very complicated to, to tell the children what, which are their rights and which are the world leaders' engagements in this logic of global goals. So I think it's a big challenge to communicate to the children around the world, which are their rights, uh, and of course, to their parents, which are their responsibilities. It doesn't matter if they are politicians or not, because they have a sharing responsibility regarding the children. No, that's very true. I completely agree with you, and I think it's a couple of things. You know, I was in Ghana earlier this year, um, you know, helping out with a village, and I think one thing that's really, really important is that you need to be on the ground and you need to understand the culture and the people and tell them, you know, because who else is going to be accountable for it? Um, so I think, first of all, you need people on the ground and you need people supporting um, the most underrepresented, like, minorities out there and the most, like, um, kind of disengaged ones. And then in addition to that, I think you really need to hold um, world leaders and leaders of all these, you know, big kind of entities really responsible for um, making this push and saying that, you know, like, at the end of the day, like, if you help all these people and all these children, then you're going to make the world and, you know, your country and your organization a better place. And then lastly, um, man, I forgot my last point, but, um, yeah, I think everyone needs to be held accountable at the end of the day and I think it's a great thing that we have these sustainable development goals um, but at the end of the day if no one's held accountable for them then you're really not going to make any progress forward it's just going to be lip service so yeah well as you probably know in Europe now there is a big flood of refugees and migrants especially from the Middle East and the North Africa uh, many children together with their parents hundreds of thousands of people entering Europe uh, how do you see this situation, talking about children especially? Um, I think one of the biggest problems, especially that UNICEF is trying to tackle right now, is migrant children and, you know, um, how they're displaced and basically the best ways in order to, you know, have them s provide the basic needs and still allow them to have a childhood even though, you know, they're displaced from war, from political instability and things like that. Um, I think that this is a joint effort that all the nations around the world and all the big governmental organizations and non-governmental organizations need to come together and really solve. I think it's a great thing that a lot of European countries have opened their borders up to these new migrants. However, there's definitely still needs to be more done in terms of um, media being super, you know, push that story out to make sure everyone is aware and everyone knows and everyone wants to help out. And also, um, just in terms of aid, there needs to be more aid, both with, like, workers on the ground, both internally with the governments that, you know, are housing these migrant workers, and um, both from, like, you know, 
our end as well. Um, so I think when all these things come together, you know, countries will hopefully start to realize that this political instability is a little bit of BS. And at the end of the day, it's like you need to cater to the people. So. Okay, and finally, uh, we are a multimedia platform dedicated especially to an educated public, but also trying to explain better what is happening in the world, not only in Europe, but also around the world, and to promote the real and the strong values of humanity. So in this respect, which, is, which would be your message for the children from Romania and the people who are watching our multimedia platform, Cala Europeana, please? I would say, first of all, it's a great thing that you're listening into this and that you know you care enough about the United Nations like sustainable development goals and about you know children of the world and the people of the world to really try and educate yourselves and I would honestly just say like stay aware and speak up about things that you think like you know don't rub you the right way and don't sound right because first of all like it takes one person to voice their opinion and then that makes uh, you know your voice heard and then other people will hear it and spread the word and without awareness change will never ever happen so I think that's number one and just you know go for your dreams if you want to help eliminate poverty it's totally doable you know United Nations and everyone else says it's done in 15 years so it's doable you know and I think it takes each and every one of us to really put our best foot forward and to really really you know try and strive for it and support for it to make this happen at the end of the day Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. Okay.